When First Lady Melania Trump visited Pope Francis in May, she took the time to visit Bambino Jesu, Baby Jesus in English, a pediatric hospital owned by the Vatican. The hospital is considered one of the best in all of Italy. Thousands of patients are treated successfully at what's known as the Pope's Hospital. But it wasn't always like that. Last Christmas, Pope Francis urged caregivers at the hospital not to fall prey to corruption. Bambino Gesù ha avuto una storia non sempre buona, non sempre, tante volte buona, ma alcune, alcune epoche non tanto buone, no? E la tentazione di fare l'uniformità, di trasformare eh, una cosa tanto bella come un ospedale di bambini. In 2014, Colleen McMahon was part of a Vatican-authorized task force, which also included Bambino Jesu doctors, nurses, and administrators. They conducted a secret, month-long investigation and found that the hospital had become more focused on making money than caring for children. It was more of a profit-centered approach versus a patient-centered approach. The task force found that to speed up the surgery schedule and therefore increase the rate of operations, doctors sometimes brought children out of anesthesia early, causing them to move and tear up, and then wheeled in more patients from a pre-op room lined with gurneys. The Associated Press also conducted its own investigation based on hundreds of hours of interviews, civil lawsuits, union complaints, and reviews of internal Vatican and hospital emails. In response to the AP, the hospital flatly denied the profit over patient findings and said the information provided to the Vatican and AP was either false, seriously unfounded and out of date by two years, clinically implausible and defamatory on a moral and ethical level. The Vatican later ordered a second investigation, which took just three days compared to the initial months-long one. It was led by Sister Carol Keehan of the Catholic Health Association and found there was little evidence to support the continued accusations of medical wrongdoing. Can I say they've never made a mistake? Absolutely not. Can I say that um, that that the uh, that they're absolutely perfect? No, I can't say that. But can I say that that is a hospital that gives exceptional care to children? Absolutely and positively, yes. But there were other worrying issues. Eight children died during a nearly two-year outbreak of a drug-resistant bacteria in the cancer ward. And overcrowding was a problem when Federica Bianca brought her infant son to the emergency room with breathing problems. Two days later, he came down with an infectious virus called rotavirus, which he later gave to his twin brother. Tutte le salette in cui i bambini erano curati erano strapiene. Vedevo alternanza gente che aspettava nei corridoi. Insomma, ho trovato una situazione, diciamo, non ideale quindi ho visto un ospedale in difficoltà però la fame era talmente grande che io non, non mi sono fatta nessun pensiero nessuno scrupolo if a child is infected that should be the child has to be separated isolated in a way that other children not come in the contact not contaminated or not use the same Facilities. A Bambino Jesu spokesman said that the institution had successfully brought rates of hospital-acquired infections under international and national benchmarks in recent years. The rate fell from 7.6% in 2007 to an estimated 1.8% last year. The twins recovered, but other patients took legal action against the hospital after something went wrong. Florinda Galasso was partially paralyzed after suffering a stroke during open-heart surgery at Bambino Gesù. She said she was never told she might have such a complication. She sued the hospital for lack of informed consent and appealed for more than the 50,000 euro compensation she was awarded. She recently lost that appeal. Io voglio pure quasi una sicurezza per per il mio futuro. Potrebbero diciamo risarcirmi proprio perché mi hanno rovinato. In his speech last Christmas, the Pope gave a clear message to the hospital staff. È come in questo mondo dove si fanno tanti affari con la salute, si inganna tanta gente con l'industria della malattia, l'industria della malattia. Il bambino Gesù deve sapere dire no. 
Haven Daily, Associated Press.